Hello everyone, this is Jackie, and these are my swap items for the swap I participated in hosted by Mighty Soul Pearls. This is the embellishment swap hop, and I will post the link below of where you need to go after this video. So please play along, uh, it'll be a lot of fun, and you'll get to see a lot of amazing talent from some amazing people. And for this uh, embellishment uh, swap, we had to alter two tags, two stick pins, two handmade flowers, I made four because I had so much fun, two bottle caps, two inchies or twinchies, two puzzle pieces, a seventh pair of embellishments of your choosing, one chunky charm, and 24 sheets of 6x6 six six paper. And that's where I'm going to start with the 6x6 six six paper. And I had started to pull these out from this paper pad, and it's the My Mind's Eye Market. I realized too late that it is literally only 24 sheets in this paper pad, so some of them are loose, but they're all in here. And it's just really pretty paper. So that's that. The next thing is my chunky charm. Lots of beads and metal pieces and a cameo at the bottom. I don't know if that's chunky enough. It's my first chunky charm. Then the flowers are an assortment of gathered laces and some tool trim from Hobby Lobby and then these little satin flowers or roses from Michaels in just different colors that I had. So this one has that tool trim in pink from Hobby Lobby, some white gathered lace and then a mint green flower or rose for the center. This is the white tool trim from Hobby Lobby, some mint green gathered lace and then a pink rose in the center and I just used cardstock for the back. This one's yellow and white and then the purple and then this lace I'd gotten from a local craft store and it's it comes like that with the satin and then the lace and then a yellow rose for the center. My bottle caps, I'm not sure if this is right because they seemed kind of a little too smushed to me, but I don't know. I put it in my cuddle bug and that's what I got. And so this one just has, um, first I gessoed both of them, then I painted them with apple barrel antique parchment. This one has some small uh, pearl trim and then a metal crown and I just use some stickles to imitate a little uh, gem there and then this one has some trim from Michaels it's just this stuff and then a little wooden bird that I sprayed with um, the green shimmer spray from Recollections and then a wild orchid craft flower that I put um, some stickles on and the paper that I used, the paper collection that I used for all my embellishments where paper was used is the Prima Princess uh, paper pad and then there's a little uh, pearl for the eye. That's those. Oops, I'm kind of fuzzy. There we go. And then um, the problem with this is I tried to use glossy accents and um, this was actually the other image I was trying to do but they kind of curled up and when I tried to straighten them out this one cracked and so I'm really sad about that because it's a beautiful image so I had to do another one and I was afraid to use the glossy accents again so this one I just sealed with some matte gel medium so one's going to be glossy and one's going to be matte but I just didn't want to ruin another tile and then my stick pins just different glass beads and pearls and some rondelles and spacers and bead caps and these are leftover corsage pins from my wedding and my puzzle pieces I um, gessoed then I painted this one pink and then I tried to use some of that um, crackle paint by Tim Holtz and then this is just a little tag punch that I have and I, I had stamped the word create and then punched that out 
and then this butterfly I made using a metal, it's actually a metal flower from Michaels and I just cut a couple of the petals off to make this butterfly shape and I saw Jen, um, Oak Tree Vibrations do that and then this is just a crocheted flower from my stash and then a wild orchid craft with some stickles and then some stamen for the antenna and then this one kind of same uh, process except I used blue um, as the base and I also edged it with the gold pen, a paint pen on both of them and distressed both of them with some uh, vintage photo. This one I just used a little mutter, metal butterfly from Michaels and then this uh, flower or rose from Wild Orchid Crafts I layered on top of a Recollections flower. So that's that. And then my two tags. Um, some trim from Michaels at the bottom, some flat back pearl trim from Natalia store, which I think is my paper passion. These little stamped images um, from a stamp set that I got at Hobby Lobby. So really cute. I love those. And then these crocheted flowers uh, Brenda had sent me in our swap. So thank you so much, Brenda. Some brads from my stash and then just some eyelash trim. Some more of that trim from Michaels and then some small pearl pearl beads there and I did cuff the back and then I did some ATCs um, even though I made four flowers I wanted to do the ATCs because I really love these sentiments and then the backs are covered and I did make a, a card that's not you know wasn't part of what you had to do for the swap but I did make one anyway and the card base I'd gotten from Irene. That's Crafty Irene here on YouTube. Thanks, Irene. I love these. So I'm going to have to go buy some because I think I only have one more left. And I just layered with a doily that I had in my stash. And um, this is a butterfly by Recollections, the Hello Pastel collection. And the card base I stamped, I sprayed with a combination of the Hello Pastel shimmer sprays. And I gessoed. And, uh, oh, I also use some Glimmer Mist. That's kind of that bronzy color you can see there. And then there's the, whoops, there's the inside. I tore it there and just tucked a little piece of doily. And there's a pink butterfly. I didn't really mess with the back. So that's that. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my embellishments, Bridget. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.